In a slum area of Salia Sahib Banswar, there is a young mother named Sukantai. She was in need of money and she was going to sell the property she had. But nothing works, so she decided to sell her son named Budiya Singh to a traveling bracelet dealer for $10. She ordered the bracelet dealer to take care of and train Budiya to work. Meanwhile elsewhere, the community is holding a demonstration to reject the eviction of their settlement. On the other hand, a man named Barenchi Das who works as a judo coach, was immediately told by several people to deal with the demonstrators. There, he then told the demonstrators that if the residents whose houses were evicted, they would receive compensation and permanent houses would be built. Hearing Berenchi's words, of course the demonstrators did not immediately believe it, but luckily he was able to convince the demonstrators so that the riots could be resolved. After that, Byrancy went to a slum which turned out to be Sukanti's house complex. There he also took the time to visit Sukanti's house. Sukanti told Berenchi that the roof of her house was leaking and there was no clean water supply. Hearing this he promised to help her house to be repaired. After that he asked the whereabouts of Budiya, but Sukanti just silent. Meanwhile, Budiya's condition was very worrying. He was starving, he was not fed by the bracelet dealer and was instead beaten, but Budiya dared to retaliate by throwing a bottle to him and immediately hiding. But damn, Budiya was again caught and beaten until he cried. Soon after that, Birunchi comes to save him. The bracelet dealer refused because he felt he had bought Budiya. Finally Birunchi replaces the bracelet dealer's money to free Budiya and says he will beat him if he dares to touch Budiya again. The next day, Birunchi's wife, Gita, tells her husband that she wants to have a biological child. Jokingly he said if Gita already had many children, one day, Birunchi joins the success team, an opposition party leader who will run for governor named Patanik. In his campaign, Puttunik promised to rebuild the houses of the evicted residents permanently. It certainly immediately received a good response from the community so that Puttunik was immediately proud. And at night, Puttunik gives money to Berenchi for helping his campaign. After that Berenchi visited Budiya who was being treated in hospital due to a beating from a bracelet dealer. After recovering, Berenchi took Budiya to his mother. But Sukantai wants Budiya to live with him because she doesn't have the money to support Budiya's life. When he get home, Gita rejected if Budiya lived in their house because they had taken care of 22 orphans. But after seeing Budiya's innocence, she became melted and accepted him to live in their house. In the morning, as usual the children got up to do activity. One child tries to wake Budiya, but he found Budiya was wetting on the bed. This made he get bullied by that child. Do not accept being bullied. Budiya then pushed him till he fall for his actions. Birunchi punishes Budiya to run around the field and he don't allow to stop until Birunchi tells him to stop. He and his wife then left to take care of their business for hours and forgot about Budiya. When home, one of their children said that since morning Budiya had run and would not stop. Hearing this, Berenchi and Gita panicked. They immediately checked Budiya's condition, but he didn't get tired and laughed instead. At night, he was watching the marathon broadcast on TV. There he thought of Budiya in the field of running. The next day, he invites Budiya for a morning run. They then ran together and from there they became closer. He said that he likes to run. After running, Berenchi takes Budiya to his personal doctor. Berenchi says that Budiya has already run 5 kilometers. It is something very extraordinary, considering Budiya's age. He was only 5 years old. After the doctor checked his condition, it turned out that Budiya's condition was fine. As a reward for Budiya's achievements, Berenchi gives him new shoes. And to make the other children are not jealous, Gita then gives them a sweet. After knowing the talent possessed by Budiya, Birunchi became more focused in guiding Budiya. He even promised Budiya a bicycle if he was excited to train with him. Next at Bubanswar police birthday party, Birunchi asked Puttanik for help so that Budiya could appear on the show. With Puttanik's help, finally Budiya was able to appear on the show and show his talent for running in front of many people for 7 rounds. Even without drinking water, Budiya managed to complete 7 rounds. Then for his achievements, Budiya flooded with praise. Then Birunchi intends to send Budiya to the best private school in the city by applying for an athlete scholarship. But Budiya was not accepted because his old was still not enough. But Birunchi did not give up. He asked Puttanik for help so that Budiya could study at that school. With the help of Puttanik, Finally Budiya can go to school. After that, Budiya continued to practice running with enthusiasm starting from a distance of 5 kilometers, 21 kilometers, 25 kilometers, 30 kilometers, and continued to grow until it reached 48 kilometers. Along with how hard Budiya practiced, until the shoe has a hole. Then Budiya's rare talent was smelled by the national newspapers. It has become a topic of discussion among various parties, because according to some circles it is an act of exploitation, considering that Budiya is only five and a half years old. Budiya's achievements have become the pride of the people of Bubanswar. Berenchi then presents him with new shoes. Not only that, Puttan also gave Budiya a bicycle as a gift. He also promised to sponsor him. Next Berenchi held a religious ceremony to adopt Budiya as a child. And since then Budiya has been legally the son of Berenchi. Sometime later, Gita gave birth to a son named Mohit. One day Berenchi and Gita were visited by a journalist from America who wanted to make a documentary about them. Their Gita shows the medals they got when they were judo athletes. Next Berenchi intends to register Budiya to take part in the 21km marathon in Delhi. However, the committee did not allow him to participate in the competition because Budiya was not yet 12 years old. As a result one of Budiya's sponsors gets angry with him and says if he loses sponsoring a useless child. Hearing this, 
this, Berenchi became angry and the dispute that occurred became a trend in the news. On the other hand, the Ministry of Child Protection also spoke and said that Berenchi was just trying to be famous and looking for sensations. And on the other hand Berenchi also held a press conference on the citizens of Bubanswar. In the event he said if Budia would break a new record, where he will run a marathon as far as 70 kilometers starting from the city of Puri to Bubanswar. Hearing that the reporters asked about Berenchi's plan, because it is an impossible thing and very risky. Moreover, Budia is not even six years old. Some parties objected to the plan, because it was too risky for a child of Budia's age. Gita also tried to persuade her husband to cancel the event, but he persisted to hold the event, further thanks to Puttanik's help. Finally the event got permission from the police and there were 400 people who were willing to run with Budia. On the other hand, Sukantai who now has a boyfriend, saw a billboard about Budia who was going to run a 70-kilometer marathon. Sukanti's boyfriend used this to attract donations to residents under the guise of running the Budia marathon. After getting permission, various preparations were then made for the Buddhist marathon. The day before implementation, the Minister of Child Protection contacted the police to conduct a doping test on Budia. Luckily he's tested negative. And finally the day of the Budia marathon arrived. Thousands of people have gathered in the Jagannatha temple complex to enliven the event. The priests also prayed for Budia so that he would be given smoothness and safety. Exactly at 4.30 a.m., Budia started from the Jagannatha temple complex accompanied by hundreds of people. Not only that, Budia was also escorted by several police, medical teams, and journalists who also took part in capturing the event. Everyone who knew Budia cheered him on and watched on television. On the other hand, the Ministry of Child Protection and the Child Protection Commission are increasingly angry with the event because it is considered an act of exploitation of children. On the third day of running a marathon, Budia began to feel tired and thirsty until he hallucinated with his favorite iced drink. But Berenchi still doesn't give Budia a drink. It made Gita, who was watching from television, feel disappointed with her husband. After a long run, Budia finally arrived at the entrance of the city of Bubanswar and needed five kilometers again to the finish line. But suddenly Budia fainted from dehydration. Therefore, Budia immediately received emergency assistance from the medical team. The incident immediately became viral news and not a few people also criticized the action because it is considered to have exceeded the limit where a child who is only six years old ran as far as 65 kilometers. After Budia received treatment, he then came to his senses and in front of many people he said if he wasn't tired and would run 100 kilometers. Next Berenchi and the residents of Bubanswar celebrated Budia's success in breaking the record by running a distance of 65 kilometers. On the other hand, the ministry and the Child Protection Commission, who did not like this, asked the police to pick up Budia from Berenchi's house. In the morning, the Minister of Child Protection conveyed to the media the results of Budia's examination at the hospital. Doctors diagnosed Budia with anemia, malnutrition, and an abnormal heart rate. Therefore, the government forbade Budia to run a marathon until he was 12 years old, and if violated, the organizers and Berenchi as coaches will get criminal penalties. But the minister's statement was opposed by various parties including the personal Dr. Berenchi who had been handling Budia's health. He said the statement could not be accounted for because he knew Budia's condition, as well as Puttanik who appealed to the government to support and facilitate Budia's talent. Because of this action, the community then staged a demonstration in front of the offices of the ministry and the Child Protection Commission. There they asked the ministry to lift the ban on running against Budia. Following up on demonstrators' requests, the government held a consultation meeting. However, what was discussed in the meeting did not discuss solutions to Budio's problems, but instead the main minister wants his party to win so that it can maintain power and continue to engage in corruption. The other side, Branchi was also accused of exploiting children and embezzling donations collected from the community for Budio by the head of the Child Protection Commission, but it was Branchi who felt he didn't do that, went straight to the chairperson of the Child Protection Commission and beat him up. Then Sukantai asks for Branchi's promise to repair the house. There he says he will help Sukantai if he has money. After that Budio was brought home by Sukantai, but Branchi instead accused her and her boyfriend of reporting him to the police on charges of embezzlement of funds and torture of Budia, but in the end he was released after Berenchi's postmortem and Berenchi's balance was only a few tens of dollars and not what he was charged for. Then the government took over Budia from Berenchi and also from Sukantai. Budia was then placed in the government-owned athlete house and was not allowed to run until the age of 12. Knowing that, Berenchi was disillusioned with the actions taken by the government and under the pouring rain he cried over what had happened. A few days later Berenchi visited Budia at the government-owned athlete house. There it is seen that they miss each other. When he will to leave, Budia forbids him and asks Berenchi to accompany him a little longer, but the government-owned athlete house guard only gave him a few minutes. On New Year's Eve, Berenchi celebrates New Year's Eve with his family and foster children happily, and it is inversely proportional to the condition of Budia who feels lonely, and that night there was someone who wanted to meet Berenchi, but suddenly that mysterious person shoots him to death. The news of Berenchi's death from being shot by an unknown person shocked many and became a trending topic, and on Berenchi's funeral day, everyone looked sad and lost including Budia who was also crying. 